This is a daily income and expense sheet or expenses tracker which I have created in Excel. Before creating the new format, let's see how it works. On the top, we have got our start month. In case you want to maintain this format month wise, you can. Even this format can be maintained for the whole year. Just after our start month, we can see opening balance and closing balance. Entry of opening balance will be done manually and closing balance or running balance will be calculated automatically. Let's come to left hand side. On left hand side, we have got our dates and days. Based on dates, days will be calculated automatically. Just after that, we have got our particulars where we have to do the entry of income as well as expenses. Once the entry of particulars will be done, we have to select income or expense from the drop down. If we will select income, we have to do the entry in income. And if we will select expense, we have to do the entry over here. Currently, I have done the entry of income. Let's delete income from here. Now let's come to left hand side. This time I'll select expense. Now let's try doing some entry over here. I'll insert 12,000, enter. Wrong entry. This is an expense. Let's cancel this. Now let's select income 12,000, enter. And we are able to do the entry. In the same way, if I'll do some entry in expense, and on the left hand side, if I have selected income 12,000, enter. And we are not able to do the entry because on the left hand side, it's income. Let's undo this. Calculation of balance will be done automatically. I'll click on first date. We'll go to view tab, freeze panes. Now let's come down. And over here, we have got all the entries. Whenever it will be income, it will be highlighted automatically in green. And whenever it will be an expense, color will change to red. Perfect. Let's start creating a new format now. I have opened a new workbook. We'll take column A closer. We'll click on B4. We'll select the whole row. We'll go to Home tab and we'll align all the things in center. We'll change the font style. We'll do as Arial Bold. We'll click on B4. This will be serial number, date, day, particulars, income slash expense. We'll adjust the column size. We'll click on income slash expense and we'll drag this till H. We'll come to G. We'll double click over here and we'll delete expense. Now this is income. We'll come to column H. We'll double click over here and we'll delete income. And now this is expense. We'll click just after expense. This will be balance. In bracket, I'll take amount. We'll adjust the column size. We'll select the whole sheet. We'll go to home tab. We'll come to right hand side and we'll click on wrap text. Let's adjust the column size. Now I'll come in the very beginning and we'll click on serial number. We'll press shift control right arrow key. We'll go to home tab and we'll change the cell color. We'll change the font color also. We'll create borders. We'll select the whole sheet. We'll go to home tab. We'll come to right hand side, conditional formatting. We'll go down and we'll click on new rule. From here, I'll be selecting classic. In case you are using Windows, you'll not be getting the option of classic. You'll be diverted to next step and that is only format cells that contain. Over here, we can see specific text. We'll click over here and we'll select no blanks. Format width. We'll click on drop down and we'll select customized format. On top, we see four things, number, font, border and fill. We have to go in border. We'll click on outline. We'll come to the bottom and we'll do OK. OK. Currently, we can't see any changes, but whenever any text or any number will be inserted, borders will be applied automatically. Let's delete both. Date. We'll increase the column size. We'll insert a random date over here. We'll select the whole column. We'll press Ctrl-1. We'll go to date and we'll select a desired date format. We'll come down and we'll click on OK. Now our date format got changed and border got applied automatically. Serial number. This will be automated and the formula will be plus or equal to count A. Bracket open. I'll click on my very first date. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we can see one over here. Let's drag down the dates. We'll click on one and we'll double click over here. 
will come in the very beginning and will insert the criteria of if if bracket open will click on very first date is equal to blank for blank i'll be inserting double inverted comma twice comma if date will be blank in return i want my sales to be blank so i'll be inserting double inverted comma twice once again comma will come to the end will close the bracket and will hit enter now if there will be no dates serial number will be blank i'll undo this control z or command z i'll drag down serial number and over here also we can see one let's increase the column size so that formula will be visible properly will double click on my formula and will delete the function of count a from here will click on serial number 1 plus 1 enter and we got 2 now if i'll drag down my formula our serial numbers are getting changed let's adjust the column size will click on last serial number and will drag this down as per our requirement i'll keep till 150 because in a month or in a year we will have multiple entries so you can drag down the formula as per your requirement let's go on top day formula will be plus or equal to text bracket open value i'll click on date comma double inverted comma d d d means d3 times double inverted comma close bracket close and i'll hit enter we got monday what will happen if i'll drag down my formula if there is no date we can see saturday we'll click on very first day we'll double click on the formula we'll come in the very beginning and we'll insert the criteria of if if bracket open we'll click on date is equal to blank if there will be no date in return we want blank so i'll be inserting comma double inverted comma twice once again comma we'll come to the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now i'll drag down my formula and if there is no date our sales are blank let's click on very first day and let's drag this down as per our requirement we'll go on top particulars we'll increase the column size we'll take all the details of particulars from my example file so i have taken all the details let's come down and let's drag down our dates let's come down just to notice our borders are getting applied automatically let's go on top we'll come to income or expenses we'll click on very first cell we'll go to data tab we'll come in the center in the center we get the option of data tools inside data tools we get an option of data validation over here we can see any value we'll click on any value and we'll select least source over here i'll type income comma expense will come down and will click on okay and our drop down of income and expenses got created we can see income as well as expense we'll drag this down as per our requirement let's go on top i'll select income and over here i'll select expense we'll select the whole column we'll go to home tab we'll come to right hand side and we'll click on conditional formatting highlight sales rules we'll come to right hand side and we'll select equal to over here i'll type income we'll click on drop down and we'll select green fill with dark green text and we'll do okay we'll go to conditional formatting once again highlight sales rules we'll come to right hand side and we'll click on equal to this time i'll type expense by default we get red color i'll do okay and income got highlighted in green and expense got highlighted in red now i'll do all the entries of income and expenses over here so all the entries are done let's come to left and let's adjust the column size of serial number even we will adjust the column size of days we'll increase column size of income as well as expense currently we are in income and over here we will restrict our cells if this will be income entry should be done in income and not expense in the same way if this will be expense entry should be done in expenses and not in the income i'll click on top we'll go to data tab data tools from here i'll select data validation over here we can see any value we'll click on any value and we'll go to custom over here we have to insert the formula 
and the formula will be plus or equal to, we'll take this down, we'll click over here where we are going to insert income or expense. We'll press F4 or function F4 three times and dollar will be inserted in the very beginning. Is equal to, I'll click on top where we can see income. We'll press F4 or function F4 one time and cell reference will be fully logged. Now I'll do OK. Now let's do some entry over here. 12,000, enter, and we are able to do the entry. Let's delete this. Now let's do this as expense. Let's do some entry over here. 12,000, enter, and we got an alert. Let's cancel this. So I have clicked on the cell which I have restricted. We'll go to data tools once again, data validation. So this is the formula what we have inserted. We'll copy our formula. Control C or Command C. Now we will go to Error Alert. Over here we can see Stop. We'll come to Title. We'll give it a title, Wrong Entry. We'll come to Error Message and we'll type, This is an expense. We'll come down and we'll click on OK. Now let's do this as Income and let's do some entry. 2000, Enter. Entry is done. Let's change this as Expense. 2000, Enter and we got an alert, wrong entry, this is an expense. I'll cancel this. Now let's come to expense. We'll go to data tab, data tools, we'll select data validation, we'll come to settings, we can see any value, we'll click on any value, custom, formula. I'll paste the formula what I have copied earlier, control V or command V. We'll delete cell reference from here and we'll click on expense. We'll press F4 or function F4 one time and cell reference will be logged. We'll do OK. Now let's do some entry, 2000. Entry is getting done. Let's delete this and let's do this as income. Let's do the entry, 2000. Enter and we got an alert. We'll go to data validation. This is the formula what we have inserted right now. We'll go to error alert, title, wrong entry, error message. This is an income. We'll come down and we'll click on OK. Now let's do the entry 2000. Enter. We got the alert. Wrong entry. This is an income. Means we can do the entry over here. Perfect. Let's delete this. We'll select both the cells where we have applied our data validation or we have restricted our cells. We'll drag this down as per our requirement. Perfect. Let's go on top. Now let's enter some amount in income as well as expenses. So I have done the entry. We'll select both the columns from top. We'll press Ctrl 1. We'll go to number, decimal places, 0. We'll click on use separator and we'll do OK. And now we can see separators in our amount, balance amount. Let's come to right hand side. We'll click on G and we'll select H also. We'll go to Home tab and we'll merge the cells. We'll drag this down. Now I'll click on G and we'll select H also and we'll merge the cells. We'll create borders over here and we'll drag this down. This will be opening balance and this will be closing balance. Our closing balance will be our running balance. We'll click on opening balance and we'll change the cell color. We'll change the font color. Same with closing balance. I'll change the cell color as well as font color. We'll select row number 2 and 3 and we'll change the font style. We'll do as Arial Bold. We'll click just after opening balance. In opening balance, we have to insert the figures manually. I'll take a random figure over here of 15,000. Closing balance. This will be formulated. Let's come to balance amount. Formula will be plus or equal to opening balance plus income minus expense, enter. And we got balance amount. Now we have to calculate running balance. I'll click just under first amount. Formula will be plus or equal to very first amount plus income minus expenses, enter. So over here in the first cell, I have added my opening balance. I'll click on second amount and we'll double click over here. We'll come in the very beginning and we'll insert the criteria of if. If bracket open, we'll click on particulars is equal to blank 
for blank I'll be inserting double inverted comma twice. Comma, if particulars will be blank, in return I want my cells to be blank. So I'll be inserting double inverted comma twice once again. Comma, we'll come to the end, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now I'll drag down my formula as per my requirement. Let's go on top and we got our figures. The last figure will be our closing balance. Let's go on top. We'll click just in front of closing balance. We'll create borders. Formula will be plus or equal to lookup. Bracket open. Let's come to right hand side. I'll insert two over here. Comma one divided by. We'll click on very first amount and we'll select till bottom. We'll go on top is not equal to. For not equal to, I'll insert smaller than, greater than. Not equal to blank. For blank, I'll be inserting double inverted comma twice. Comma. Let's take this down. We'll click on very first figure and we'll select my range once again. So I've selected my range. We'll go on top. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We got some error over here. Let's come to right hand side. I'll double click on the formula. We'll click just before my range and we'll insert bracket open. Over here we can see not equal to blank. So I'll click just after double inverted comma and we'll insert bracket. We'll hit enter and we got the figure. So how this formula is going to work? Let's understand this in parts. I had inserted the range where I had inserted not equal to blank. This will test each cell. If the cell will have value, it will return true. And if the cell will be blank, it will return false. Then I had inserted 1 divided by our range. So what this is going to do? This will convert true to 1 and false to 0. Then I had inserted lookup value 2. So what this is going to do? Lookup will search for number 2 in the whole array. As there is no 2 in our array, it will not be found. And when the lookup will not find anything, it will return the last value in the whole column. So this is how our formula is going to work. Let's delete this. Let's adjust the column size. We'll come to left. We'll click just after opening balance. And we'll change the cell color. We'll change the cell color over here also. We'll come to left hand side. We'll click on top of income and expenses. This will be start month. Enter. Formula will be plus or equal to. We'll click on very first date. And we'll hit enter. We'll align this in center and we got our very first date. We'll press Ctrl 1. We'll go to custom. We'll remove all the things from here and we'll type MMM space dash space YYYY. We'll come down and we'll click on OK. And we can see December 2025. We'll select both and we'll change the cell color. We'll click on top of serial number. And we'll select till start month. We'll merge the cells. Now I'll click on income slash expenses. We'll go to formula bar and we'll copy this. Control C or command C. We'll hit enter. We'll click on top of serial number. We'll double click and we'll paste. Control V or command V. Enter. We'll double click over here once again. This will be income slash expenses details. Enter. We'll change the cell color as well as font color. We'll increase the font size, we'll go on top, we'll increase size of row number 1. We'll click on B1 and we'll select till end. We'll merge the cells. This will be daily income slash expense sheet. We'll hit enter, we'll click on the header and we'll change the font style. We'll do as Arial Black, we'll change the font color and we'll increase the font size as per our requirement. We'll go to view tab. And we'll remove the grid lines. And our format is ready now. So in the same way, you can create your own income and expenses sheet. I'll provide the link of file in description box. In case you want to download, you can. But the download or edit access is only for channel members. You can join the channel membership to download the editable file.